Hey guys, Jinlux here, back with our semi-blind playthrough of Morrowind. I just yawned, so if... I don't know. That's... <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know why I said that. Uh, yeah, last time we... Um, welcome back to our blind, semi-blind playthrough of Morrowind. Uh, last time we did this... This one quest... I guess the final Shrine Sergeant quest. Um, Please join me. In what? All right, so I wanted to go to Margan to do some temple quest to sort of mimic what Vivek did. Will he take me to Margan? No, but he'll take me to Aldrun, which is close. Er. I, I find myself to be a little disappointed. Wait, what was that? Yep, I can't click on it, though. I figured I'd be able to sit down in the, in the cockpit, but no, it's... Interesting, right? It's technically... Solid. Alright, uh, Aldrun. I mean, that's where I'm at, but... Uh, Margan, here we go. Where would you like to go? I don't know. I don't know anymore. Can I step on their heads? Oh. Acrobatic skill has increased. No, you just kind of slide off. All right, let's go to the temple. Dudes. I get the feeling the Dramora is, well, whatever. Where's the temple? Right there. Right, guard tower one, shrine. Okay. So. And part of the reason I wanted to come here is I wanted to do this, and then I want to basically head to... Ushalaku Camp? Is that the one? Is that how it's pronounced? I don't even remember. Uh, let's see. We were pretty close to there, too. We could certainly do that. Uh, let's see. Okay. Make a pilgrimage to Margan. I should go to the temple shrine in Margan. Read the plaque describing Vivek's taunting of Merun's Dagon. Here, my room, uh, held this rock high above. Vivek taunted Mayor and Dagon, so the Dagon threw the rock at Vivek instead of the people. Right. Oh, here comes the kitten. Masera. Oh, my goodness. What are. You're in the way, Mr. Cat. You are in the way. Anyway. What. You were just in my lap a bunch, and then you got down, and I was like, all right, it's cool, it's time to play the game. And then he's like, no, no, I'm back now. I don't know, dude. I don't know. Look at that tail. Oh, he doesn't want to. I was toying with it, and then he's like, nope, don't toy with it anymore. Oh, you're cute. You know, the thing is, like last episode, I was talking a lot about work and my eventual leaving of it. And, uh, and I got to say, though, I, I like a lot of aspects. It's not like a like the place is terrible and I, you know, can't wait to leave and all that stuff. It's like the my coworkers, most of them are good great even um i mean we all we have we get along well together we work well together um a lot of the doctors are really easy to work with they're really cool and um 
you know, and that's, that's what makes, that's the best thing is the people that you work with, are they cool? If you get along with them, then it makes everything so much easier and more pleasant. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know, but it's, you know, like I said, I'm stressed out all the time. I'm angry all the time. They're constantly bothering me outside of work. It's just, you know, it's not the same anymore. It's not worth it anymore. So it's time to move on. They were doing some other shady and possibly illegal stuff as well. And, you know, it's like, okay. That's a pretty big, you know, red flag, I suppose. All right. Okay. Let's see. Someone in particular. I want to know about... Well, I guess you. Have I saved? Let's not. Let's save. Okay. I'm in a hedra. If you're a pilgrim, read the inscription on the stupid rock. I guess we're going to taunt the Daedra. Your threats are weak like your flesh, mortal. Is that all? How many times do we have to taunt him? Continue with your insults, mortal. I long to feast on your marrow. Ha, fine words from one born from the wrong end of a guar. <laughs> I mean, I think he's talking about the butt, but it sounds like he's talking about the mouth, which is, that doesn't make sense, but whatever. After I kill you, I will rape your corpse. Don't worry, I'll be gentle. Journal updated. I taunted the Dremor at the Shrine of Margan, and he attacked me. Isn't that what we're supposed to do? Can I, uh... Oh, I guess you can't do the thing where you click on him after you put your weapon away and... Is that what we're supposed to do? Guess. Feels anticlimactic, but... Whoa, excuse me. I think we're going back to Aldrune. Well, I mean, I'm pretty sure that's what we're supposed to do. Like, it wasn't about Vivek showing mercy, it was... Yeah. Oh, oh, all right, let's... Okay, let's travel to Aldrune with 11. Then we're going to go to... I think it's... Wait, wait, where's the temple again? Oh yeah, okay. Go to the temple. Watch the f cliff racers running around. Have you completed the pilgrimage to Margan? You made the pilgrimage to Margan. Sounds like you handled Enhedra well. Since you have learned another of Vivek's lessons, please take this book as a gift. Death Blow of Abernanit has been added to your inventory. <laughs> I, I really don't know what the lesson was. <laughs> you know? Oh. 
Block skill increased to 47. All right. Okay, it's long enough. Okay, death blow of Abernanit with explains by the sage Geocrates Varnus. Broken battlements and wrecked walls were worship of the horror once embraced. The bites of 50 winters, frost and wind have cracked and pitted the unholy gates and brought down the cruel, obscene spire. All is dust, all is nothing more than dust. The blood has dried and screams have echoed out. I assume the one and the two are like footnotes. We'll get there. If they're at the end. Yeah, they are. Framed by hills in the wild, this forlorn place of Morrowind sits the barren bones of Abernanit. When thrice blessed Rangadil first saw Abernanit, it burnished silver bright with power and permanence, a dreadful place with dreadful men to guard it, with fever glassed eyes and strength through the horror. Rangadil saw the foe's number was far greater than the few ordinators and buoyant armagers he led, watching from the hills above the field and castle of death. While it stood, it damned the souls of the people of Morrowind. Accursed, iniquitous castle, Abernanit. How? I mean, is. I recognize that this is. It looks like a certain cadence that you're supposed to read this in, but I don't remember. Dude, I haven't studied poetry. And it's been years since I've done any kind of poetry in, like, high school or anything. You know, so. Anyway, the alarm was sounded calling the holy warriors to battle to answer villainy's shield with justice's spear, to steel themselves to fight at the front and be brave. Rangadil too grasped his shield and his thin ebon spear, and the clamor of battle began with a resounding crash, to shake the clouds down from the sky. The shield wall was smashed and blood staunched, the ground of the field a battle like no other of Morrowind to destroy the evil of Avernabit. Avernabit, whatever. The maniacal horde were skilled at arms for certs, but the three holy fists of mother, lord, and wizard pushed the monster's army back in charge after charge. Rangadil saw from above, urging the army to defend Degothras himself in his pernicious tower spire, and knew that only when the heart of evil was caught would the land e'er be truly saved. <laughs> he pledged then by the temple and the holy tribunal of Morrowind to take the tower of Abernanit. In a violent push, the tower base was pierced, but all efforts to fell the spire came to naught, as if all the strength of the tower horror held that one tower. The stairwell up was steep and so tight that two warriors could not send it side by side, so single file of the army clambered up and up to take the tower room and end the reign of one of the cruelest petty tyrants in the annals of Morrowind, Digathras of Abernanit. cat hair on the monitor. They waited a victory cry for them first to scale the tower, but silence only returned, and then the blood. First only a rivulet, and then a scarlet course. Pour down the steep stairwell with the cry from above. Degothras is besting our army one by one. Rangadil called his army back, every ordinator and buoyant armature, and he himself ascended the stairs, passing the bloody remains of the best warriors of Morrowind to the tower room of Abernanic. Like a raven of death on its airy was Degothras holding bloody shield and bloody blade at the tower room door. Every thrust of Rangadil's spear was blocked with ease. Every slash of Rangadil's blade was deflected away. Every blow of Rangadil's mace was met by the shield. Every quick arrow shot could find no purchase, for the monster's greatest power was in his dread blessing, that no weapon from no warrior found in all of Morrowind could pass the shield of Abernanit. As hour passed hour, Rangadil came to understand how his greatest warriors met their end with Dagoth Ross, for he could exhaust them by blocking their attacks, and then, thus weakened, they were simply cut down. The villain was patient and skilled with the shield, and Rangadil felt even his own muddy arms growing numb, while Dagoth Ross anticipated and blocked each cut, and Rangadil feared that without the blessing of the Divine Three of Morrowind, he'd die in the Tower of Abernanit. But he still poured down blows as he yelled, Foe, I am Rangadil, a prince of the true temple. I've fought in many a battle, and many a warrior has tried to stop my blade and failed. Very few can anticipate what blow I'm planning. And fewer, knowing that, know how to arrest the design, or have the strength to absorb all of my strikes. 
There is no greater master of shield blocking in all of Morrowind than here in the Castle Abernanet. My foe, Dark Lord Degothras, before you slay me, I beg you, tell me how you know how to block. Wickedly proud, Degothras heard Rangadil's plea, and he decided that before he gutted the temple champion, he would deign to give him some knowledge for the afterlife, how his instinct and reflexes works, worked, and as he started to explain, he realized that it did not how he did it, and watched puzzled as that he did not how he did it. He did not know. Know how he did it. And watched puzzled as Rangadil delivered what the Tales of Morrowind called the Death Blow of Abernanet. The horror refers to the Daedric Prince Merun's Dagon. Fifty Winters suggests the epic was written 50 years after the Siege of Abernanet, which took place in Third Era 150. Thrice blessed Rangadil is Rangadil Catil, born Second Era 803, died. 3rd era 150 or 195 he was the commander of the temple ordinators and thrice blessed by being by being blessed by the tribunal of gods mother lord and wizard refers to the tribunal of Almalexia vivek and saw the sill mother Almalexia's mother strange is she a mother or is it just like I mean, she'd have to be, right? They don't just call women mothers, generally. <sighs> Dagoth Ross was a, power was a powerful Daedra worshipper of unknown origin who declared himself the heir of the Sixth House. There was little evidence he descended from the vanished family. Cool. See, we're getting lore. Also... I feel like Dagoth, whatever, is kind of like... I wonder if that's like a Star Wars reference. Like all these... All the Sith Lords being Darth. Uh, well, let's see. Can you give I me more? To be at your service, Have you been lax in your duties? Let me... Uh, yeah, duties. Speak with you again when you've proven yourself in the temple. I have one more thing to ask of you, but you are not ready. Until then, speak with Uvu Laren in Ghostgate or Endrin Lethen in Vivek. Interesting. Can I advance? I'm Loxley the Curate. <sighs> Woo. Yeesh. One more thing to ask of you. Interesting. Okay, well... Laren in Ghostgate or Endrin Lethen in Vivek? Huh. Alright, well, let's do... Where are we at? We got the book. Book. I need to sell some of these. Where... Who? <sighs> well, I mean, okay. So, here, here's what we'll do. See if we can go to Cool, and then we'll go to the Urshalaku camp and see what the deal is, you know? Because she was like, hey, give us many moons and then do whatever. So I don't know how much time has passed. I bet it's been, I don't know how much time needs to pass. We make a special trip just Uh, yeah. 
Man, that guy's got to be pissed that he keeps getting killed over and over again. Another dreamer. Okay. Is there an easier way than just freaking swimming? Probably not. I mean, who knows? until I get attacked. Oh, we're gonna attack now. Oh, hey, buddy. Okay, not you. Are you the only one? Okay. Oh, well, yeah. Oh, we're getting attacked again by, of course. Oh. Nope. Man, it's hard to see. They just come out of the darkness. It's it's kind of crazy. Oh, oh, I was taking I was taking damage there. That's not good. Oh, I'm getting attacked again. Oh, another one. I figured, you know, the fact that I was leaving the bodies behind me as a warning would be, you know, warning enough. I wonder what she's going to say. The wise woman. You know? Oh, I want to do the Shrine of Molag Ball. I don't remember where it is, though. It's not that, obviously. What? Uh, let's see. It was... No, it wasn't Mirandus. It was Saran, right? No, it was not services. Is services a... Okay. Ask around like everyone else, yeah. Lothy. Right. 
Brethren. <sighs> Wait, Saran? Trying to mull like ball. Well, yeah, I don't remember specifically where it is. They said north. So, I mean, but north is. North is pretty big, and Fields of Kumu is right there. Who knows? The bar dad is what? Oh, that's a bar dad? So it is. Oh, hey, buddy. That's why you don't mess with the bull, you get the horns. I know, it's terrible, isn't it? How you doing, Jack, baby? Don't mess with the bull, boy. You get the horns. Ah, uh, we got a shulk. And a cliff racer. Diseased. Fight me! Prove your worth. See, I see the things in the distance. Looks like a storm atronach. Was that a wall or something? Oh no, it's just the distance. What, uh, I don't know. This is where I saw a golden saint, right? So that's a frost atronach. I think that's a storm one in there. It's, yep. That's why, uh, you don't mess with the bull, you get the horns. I know, I'm working on it. I'm working on my humor, my bad humor, becoming ascending to the level of dad humor. As a cat dad, though, it's a little difficult. It's not great. Oh, right, here's... See, that looks like a Silt Strider thing, you know? Kite and Spear. See, that makes lots of sense. All right. Let's see if we're... If we're good, good enough. I have returned, wise woman. I'm ready to give you my judgment. I kind of figured you probably, it's, it's, you need probably like three days, but I don't know, because she talked about many moons. The fact that there's f four moons or something like that in the sky, I don't know, maybe that's important. The ancestors, okay, let me take a drink first. Almost out of beer, which is a tragedy. Ancestors and stars that give me clear signs. Lost prophecies leave no doubt. The incarnate shall be an outlander. You, blessed by Azura, must lift the seven curses of Dagoth Ur. Prophecy has shown the seven steps of the Nerevarian's path, and I have been chosen as your guide for each step on that path. That's gotta be crazy to all of a sudden. You know, it's like it's it's one thing to be like 
I'm not a Christian, but it's one thing to be a Christian and all of a sudden, you know, Jesus comes to you and you believe in the second coming of, of Christ and they're like, okay, you have to now give him any sort of guidance so that he can ascend and become what he needs to do. And you're, that's got to be terrifying. Like, she's she's been wanting this the whole life, generations even, thousands of years. And all of a sudden it's like, oh God, you know, of course it's normal. She's like, this outlander shows up, says he's the Nerevarine. It's like, that's that's crap. But all the prophecies are fitting. It's like, I, I can't deal with this. Go away for a while. And then, you know, you think about it, you're like, oh God, it's probably true. And I've been chosen to be your guide. Like what? It's a lot of pressure. Uh, okay, I will read the signs and show you the way. It is time for you to walk the path of the seven visions and pass the seven trials of the seven visions. You are born on a certain day to an... Oh, maybe you need to do the corpus thing first. That actually makes a lot of sense. It's not necessarily that a certain amount of time has to pass. It's that you have to do another step in the quest. You were born on a certain day to uncertain parents, so you've passed the first trial. My dreams show me you also fulfill the second trial, that neither blight nor age can harm him. The curse of flesh before him flies. I have read the signs, but I cannot understand. Can you explain this to me? Nice. That you have overcome the curse of flesh is strange enough, but that it should protect you from blight and age. Oh, really? So I'm functionally immortal now? Blight and age is past belief. Yeah, the signs of my dreams are clear. You have passed the second trial, but the third trial is unfulfilled. The mystery of the third trial is not my secret to share. Go to Sul Matul, the guardian of our cult, and he shall tell you of the third trial. When you have fulfilled the third trial, return to me for guidance on your next steps on the path of the Nerevarine. Which one is Sul Matul? Was he the one that I talked to before this? The... Ashkan. I'm out. Out of stuff. Oh, uh, spell making. No. Barter. Can I, uh... Hmm. I don't know if I necessarily want to go through any of these, but... <clears throat> Strange Dream, Sharmat Doug Arthur speaks to you in the voice of prophecy, curses the three betrayers. Very strong dream, very cunning, a dream to stir hearts. This is a very good lie. Called you Nerevar. Yep. Anyway. Mm -hmm. Oh, tell me about the lost... You have told me of these lost prophecies, right? Yes, we, we have, yes. Sul Matul shall tell you of the third trial, and I shall guide each of your steps on the path of the Nerevarine. Yes, so... Uh, tch, 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 tch. Path the, past the seven trials of the seven visions. About the seven visions. Oh, it's just the, the... Yeah, okay. Makes it shine the moon and star. It's probably where we get the ring. Uh, what about... Third trial. In legend, there is a shrine to Azura called the Cavern of the Incarnate. There are secrets I may not tell you about this cavern. Do not ask. Okay. So we're looking for Sul Matul. Welcome, friend. You are nearly a legend around here. Please, talk. Oh, you. Nibani Mesa says she has been chosen as my guide on the path of the, the Nerevarine. She says I must pass the seven trials of the seven visions. The first two trials, my particular birth and my cured corpus disease, are already passed. For the third trial... 
I, I'm sorry, I'm yawning tons. I must go to Sul Matul, the guardian of the Nerevarine cult, and he will tell me what to do. When I've fulfilled the third trial, I must return to Nibani Mesa for guidance with further trials. I think it's this one. Yes, it is you. All right, let's. How wonderful. Welcome, Outlander. You wish to know about the third trial, and I shall tell you. All right. You've entered the path of the Nerevarine. This is a hard thing to believe, but Nibani Mesa has spoken to me at length of this, and I have time to consider. Therefore, I shall keep my own counsel and set before you my own test. Interesting. I do not dispute with the wise women, but their ways are not the ways of the warrior. Many before have tried the path of the Nerevarine, but all have failed the warrior's test. You must have strength, courage, and cunning. These things I would test. Interesting. Nearby lies Kogarun, the ancient halls of the Forgotten House, House Dagoth. In recent time, creatures of the Blight have come to dwell there. I myself went there with some brave hunters and came back again, but it was a bad place and I am not ashamed to say I was afraid myself and my men. If you would have for me the secret of the third trial, the caverns dark, where Azura's eye sees, you will first bring to me three tokens from dark Kogarun. The first token is corpus weepings from a corpus beast, to show that you are proof against the disease's corruption. The second token is a cup with the mark of House Dagoth, for I have myself seen such cups there, and will know you have seen with your eyes what I have seen with mine. The third token is the shadow shield which lies on the tomb of Dagoth Morin in the lava tunnels deep beneath ruined, uh, deep beneath ruined Kogarun. Bring these things to me, and then I will tell you the secret of the third test. Okay, so where is it? Kogarun is an ancient Dun Dunmer stronghold. I wonder if it's one of the Propylon things. Here, let me mark it on your map. Go by day in good weather, or you may miss your way. Follow the coast east from Urshalaku Camp to the ruined Dunmer stronghold called Valenvarion, then turn southwest. You'll see Ebernanit, a ruined Daedric shrine. Continue south from Ebernanit to Kogarun, a great table of stone with many ruined buildings. There are many rooms. The passages are old and deep. Beneath are caves with pools of fire. It is a bad place. Go prepared. Hmm. Perhaps you are. We shall see. Fair enough. Okay, let us... Let's see. Okay, so... Follow the coast east to the Rune Dunmer stronghold called Valenvarian. Turn south... West. See Ebernanit? Continue south from Ebernanit to Kogarun. Okay, so you go this way, southeast, and then, or sorry, southwest, and then south. So it might even be like here. We might just be able to go southeast until we get there. We can certainly try it. Oh, how do I? There. Yes, sir. What do you want? All right. Cliff Racer. Shall we fight? It is a bad pr place. Go prepared. Um. Yeah, I mean, I have a silver longsword I'd like to sell. I don't know where I even picked that up. Did I forget to sell that, or what was the deal? I think I just forgot to sell it. Not that one. Uh... Oh. You straight up put it on the map, did you? You know what I want to know? So this ghost gate, 
<clears throat> Does it encircle the whole mountain? Can I, like, see it from this side? Why do I need to go to Valenvarian and then basically go south? Um, I don't know. Do I, I what I do know is I want to sell. You know, that's actually a good thing. Let's say I go to Kogarun and then I use. I could put a mark of I could put the mark down there, right? And then use like Margan has a temple, I think. Yeah, it does. We use Alm Civi Intervention to go to Margan. Let's just try going. Oh, let's well, let's save because it's been it's been a minute. No, it hasn't been that long. It's cool though. It's funny. He's like, ah, maybe you're the Nervarine. I don't believe it, though. We'll test you, because supposedly the Nervarine can't die. You know, if you're the actual Nervarine, you'll succeed. What's up, Ash Zombie? There you go. Stay down. Okay. All right, Abinabi. See this, there's like a road. Let's just follow this road, I guess. I love how the music kind of pauses there for a minute because it knows you're, you were, you were in a battle. And this is, uh, stamina. There's a guar. You were born from the wrong end of a guar. Take that. Oh, come on. What is this? You take that back. Wow, you know, I know, I don't know if I've ever noticed, like, there's actual constellations. We can see them. You know, here's an even scarier thought, which is, I never noticed them before. Are they appearing now that I've completed the trials? Right, because there's two of them. Would that make sense? Is that too crazy? Oh. Oh, wait, now it's there? All right, whatever. We'll just have to pay attention. I mean, it's entirely possible there's a niche um, that they were always there and the actual stars. I think the stars actually move. It would be interesting if they actually rotated around planet you know what is i don't know what this planet is called tamriel is the continent oh hello this must be that other one they told us to go south from Oh, this one? Are you coming? Oh, now I, I turn around and then you decide to attack. Where's the other one? And, uh, okay, you just go, just go through the world. It's cool. Falas Marion. Okay, bit different. Missin Atkins Hut. 
All right. The lower level. Oh, all right, that makes sense, I suppose, because looks like it's the ground floor, so to speak. <sighs> it is almost time to stop. More cliff racers, of course. Oh, come on, dude. Oh, okay. Yep. See, this is a big one. Maybe the biggest so far. And Valin Varian was... This one's, of course, going to be on the world map, I would imagine. Yep. Yeah, exactly. Uh... Huh. Yeah, Corpus Weepings, Cup with Mouse, Mark of House Dagoth, and the Shadow Shield, which sounds cool as hell. Koga Rune. Ebernanet, a rune Daedric Shrine, continues south from Ebernanet. A ruined Daedric Shrine, as opposed to what? A non-ruined Daedric, Daedric Shrine? Daedric Shrine? Uh, yeah, I mean, I don't know. Daedric Is there such a thing as Daegrish? I don't think I can jump over the wall. I wanted to go that way, see if I could. Hmm. Okay, well. Kind of sounds like Chewbacca a little bit. Just a bit. And we're trying to go south or what are we doing here? Hello, Mr. Jack. I see you. Do you know that I see you? Because now you're standing right in front of the monitor again. But I do. I see you a lot. You're right there. Yep. Oh my gosh. You're getting... Oh, we got more cliff racers coming in. So let's... Oh my goodness. These guys can't see you, but I can. You're not in front of the camera at the moment. You're, you're about to be, though, I think. All right, we'll, we'll stop walking right here, because... Oh, my gosh. All right, kitten. Come this way. Come this way. Okay, there we go. There we are. Honestly, I'm probably going to have another beer after this. Another Foster's. I have the... I got one of these, which is like the premium, which is good. Like, I don't know if you noticed in the last few episodes, if you watch, the beers that I'm drinking are, are Foster's. I just put them in like a Pilsner glass. And the premium is amber, whereas the regular, which is the other one that I've got, is yellow. So there's a clear difference in quality. And I like this one better. It tastes, it just tastes better.
Whoa, excuse me. How long until this dude sees me? Uh, zero seconds. Come on, I'll fight you and the Shulk at the same time. And the Kagooty, I guess. Oh, here it comes. Well, maybe if you weren't diseased, you'd stand a chance against me. You ever consider that? Blunt weapon 89. Oh yeah. That's how it goes. Alright. Now we head. See, if they hadn't marked it on the map... Oh, well, I guess there's no guarantee. Okay, so that's it, right? What's it called? Kogarun. I want to say Kagranak, but I know that's not correct. Wait, what is that? Oh, oh maybe that's it over there. Like, I if, figured that was it, because they talked about a thing, but... Sheep? Then again, these are houses. Oh, and a Nyx Hound. What's up, dude? Come at me, bro! I'll take your hound meat. Oh, I knocked it down with the heavy strike. That's cool as hell. I was like, ah, it's running at us. We may as well... Wait, are we gonna attack? Oh, of course. Cliff Racer. I was like, we may as well whack it with a heavy strike or, you know, charge up while it's coming toward... Oh, really? There's... What about that one over there? And that one over there? Is that what they mean, the stone tables? Come on, dude. Are you coming? Because I'm tired of waiting. Oh, and we got ash zombies. Who are you? A dreamer, eh? That's too bad. Luckily, he has delicious, large, wrapped corpus meat. So when they were talking about cutting off their own pieces and eating them or something, that's what they were talking about, because it's wrapped. You know, it's not freshly harvested by me. What is this? Feral Salmon's Corpse. Who is he? I think I recognize the name. Remember the name. Da -na 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 -na. I don't remember the song. Some rap. 100% something, 5% skill, 60% whatever, 30% will. Oh, we got a ghost. Ancestor ghost. Useless. Dome of Urso. Dome of Pollux. Pollux Eve? What is this madness? Temple of Fae? Hall of the Watchful Touch? That's dirty. Dirty sounding. What's attacking me now? That MFR? Is it that MFR? Okay, well, maybe he's no longer attacking me. Is that what's going on?
Well, okay, so first off, Feral Salmon. <sighs> Let's pull up the journal. I don't... Hmm. Okay. Hair shirt. Wow. Indril right pauldron, Indril shield. Well, yeah. Look at the look at the value of all the and still using a steel broadsword. That's your problem. Very strange. Strange that there's just the dude. Did they say I mean, this wouldn't have uh, been the Tower of Dagoth, whatever, right? The death blow of whatever. Because there's a reason there's an ordinator here. An ordinator here in, like, so far. You know? I don't know. Anyway. Anyway, guys, let's stop here for today. Uh, thank you guys so much for your time and attention. Really do appreciate it. Really hope you guys are enjoying these episodes. As always, guys, questions, concerns, comments, good, better, and different. You're so cute, Mr. Jack. Uh, yeah, let me hear him. Let me see him. Let me read him. I, uh, I try and read all of them. I try and respond to all of them. Usually it takes me a few days. Uh, what is your guys' unique positive moment, though, for today? For me, I'm going to go with the Foster's beer. It's, it's not bad. I'm not... I'm, I am definitely a beer snob, but... I mean, it's a decent, it's a lager, right? Does it say what it is? I don't know. I don't, I'm going to be honest. I don't know the difference. I couldn't tell you the difference between like a lager and a pilsner. Even though I'm kind of a beer snob. Um, but I like them. You know, and then I, I like to slum it every <laughs> every once in a while, I guess. Um, but that's my unique positive moment. Hopefully your guys just good, if not better. Hopefully better, of course. Hope to see you guys next time. Until then, guys, take care.